Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Heroes Spirits, where I'm just excited to play some more. Uh, it's kind of a weird game that, like, I don't even know if anything is likely to happen. <laughs> um, but I just want to play more, so let's do it. Okay, we have 68 swords, we can handle these slimes. I haven't spent a whole lot of time up in this place. And so I just want to spend some more time in this region. Um, it's been a while since we have done much up here in the uh, Verdant Coast Monwall area. And many, but not all of the enemies, I think, are enemies that I can handle. And I still have 24 of each key, so yeah, let's spend keys. You can use a shield to dispel an incoming fireball. Interesting. So there are going to be ranged attacks from enemies, perhaps from a dragon, uh, but the shield would deal with it, I think is what I just learned there. And now <laughs> we're just in the forest, and who knows where we are. Uh, ooh! If I could walk across the water, I could get to that. Interesting. When Oh, I'm up to 100 uh, treasure box thingies. When am I going to learn to walk across the water, I wonder? Um, I want to reach the leftmost boundary of this place. Because that is something I'm fairly certain I've never done. So let's attempt to do that. And... Yeah, maybe we'll actually find some more open space where I can see where I'm going in here. Maybe that's a little bit too much to ask for, though. Alright, trying to take out the side passages, but I do want to kind of trend upwards and to the left. The fact that there's nothing there... Well... You know, there's something here. But that little open space that didn't have trees on it made me think that there might have been a treasure there that I picked up at some point in the past. Okay, and I'm just curious... Can I get into this building? I'm not going to the left like I said I was going to, but... This building is very surrounded by trees. And I would like to know more about it. For example, there's like a ghost NPC dude here, and a green gem, and another NPC, but he has a instant death sign above him. The Shrine, Sealed Forever, is the name of this place. And there is a green gem of some sort. And is there any other way to get in here? No, I think I have to walk around like I did. Pretty sure that touching that guy would insta-kill me. Uh, or just consume my shield, which is not something I want to do right now. Oh, there's another zone kind of place over here, though. What do we have here? More of Ludenshore. However, this was a spot that I was able to see from across the way and can't actually get anywhere from. Oh, wait. Uh, I may have already been here, because I think there might have been a peak wing here or something. Hmm. Maybe I'm making that up. Okay. So, once again, I'm going to try to head to the upper left. And this time, hopefully stay on target with that with that goal in mind. Yeah, like when there's nothing there, that makes me think that somehow I had been here before, and maybe I died or got turned back uh, by some of the enemies that I just wasn't ready for. That's the spot I was mentioning before. Yeah, it seemed to me I was running from level 65 slimes at some point in the somewhat distant past in this area. So perhaps I partially explored, but didn't finish exploring this area. Yeah, we died here a bunch of times. This was the place where I actually took a bunch of deaths in quick succession when I was trying to get back out, I remember now. Okay, so we've discovered that there's a shrine there. So that is noteworthy. I think. <laughs> uh, what if I try to go just left from here? Uh, there's a P coin, which I'll go after in just a moment, if I can. And it doesn't look like I can. Alright, so maybe nothing for me to get right there. How about to the bottom left? Have I talked to you already? You should head back to the castle. Now. Interesting. Did I trigger some type of story event? that causes a person to say that? Or is that something that they would always say? Guess there's no way to know at this point. 
Just some level 50 slimes here. I'm pretty sure I've been here before. But let's talk to this person. We're catching many fish this year. I remember someone talking about having lost a fishing pole somewhere. Something, something. That I might be able to find. It was suggested. We'll save the game. Mundaman Mountain, Cherry Valley, Verdant Coast. Uh, before I head up to... Okay, this does appear to be kind of a dead end right here. Mundaman Mountain. This is South Mundaman, the waterways again. So this is typically an easy area. Ah, but there's a sword here that I had gotten. Perhaps because I was reluctant to spend gold keys, because in the past they seemed like more of a precious resource than they do today. And yeah, this is kind of a noteworthy looking little bridge of water here. I need to really start either <laughs> drawing extensive maps or just kind of memorizing what a lot of this whole world looks like. And this is like the fourth episode I've recorded in two days or something. I'm leaning more toward the memorization right now and trying to get as much done as I can in a short period of time before I have a chance to forget it all. Though honestly, the way my memory is, forgetting it all could happen momentarily. There's a normal game save. And another sword. So that brought us to 70. I can't remember offhand if there were particular monsters who had an attack power of 70. I think I remember walking through... Th well, I can't, right? Because it's not obvious that I've ever been here. So yeah, I guess we're just kind of wandering around and see what we find. <laughs> What a surprise! Here is spirit in a nutshell. I'm usually pleased with the stuff we find. Okay, North Mundaman Lava Pools. Have I been here recently? Perhaps. Were there any level 70 enemies I had to deal with here? I don't recall. Was there a northward exit from this place? That I also don't recall. So let's see if we can find one of those. I'm gonna try to go as north as possible. Yeah, charm to protect against the lava. I want it very much. I have a feeling it's gonna be like... I mean, the hammer I learned about for a while and it took me a long time to find and uncover. Oh, there's Beacoin. Um, so I have to imagine that the lava charm might be the same kind of way that I should not expect to necessarily find it quickly. There's that blue key again. And I'm fairly certain I need the Lava Charm to get there. Like, basically, I think there's a fair amount of lore that at least is suggestive of the fact that it might open any door and, as such, would likely be kind of an endgame type of item. And I don't think there's a way for me to walk across this safely either, unless there's some way to approach it from the back. Nope. All right. So I tried going to the north. Oops. Okay, careful. And didn't really succeed. So where does that leave me now? Uh, I'm not really sure. So let me try to find my way. Oops, I did a bad. <laughs> Alright, well, I took a death in the lava there. Fortunately, I saved not too long ago. And we do have 63 lives, so it's not a big deal. Okay, here's another exit. That brings me back to Tundra Tundaria. We've done a lot of exploration around here as well. Which portion of this? Oh, I'm right by the cat. The cat wants some kind of meat or something. So from here... This area is so open. I'm just still not sure what portions of it I have and have not been to. So let me do some exploring and see if I can find anything amazing and new. Oh, here's a portal stone. I also found another heart. But apparently there was just a secret entrance to walk into that building. This is one that I've walked by recently, I'm fairly sure. Yep. Complex, many routes. 
I used to fish a lot, but I lost my fishing pole in a haunted maze. Did I see a place that was named the Haunted Maze? I really don't remember right now. Also, it looks like I have to walk across the water to get there, or exit through this gold door, which maybe I can get to after the silver door. It seems plausible. All right, and that gets me a treasure box. So we got a gazillion treasure boxes. And I can't remember if I've ever seen a shop where I could spend them. A skull indicates that an enemy is immortal. All right, so we saw the skulls above the ghost and above the guy who was uh, in the shrine. And I had already inferred that based on gameplay. Heard a cat meowing nearby, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the kitty, I wanna give it some food. Oh, it's you, hi. Hello. Person who seems to remember me. Let's see, giant structure over here. Oh, uh, no, I think I've been here. Yeah, I've been here. Still haven't found all the diamonds in this region. So what else is part of this giant structure? What happens if I go this way? Uh, it seems like I wasted a key is what happens, but Maybe not, because there's a P coin. Oh, and there would have been a way through here, as it turns out. So it was definitely a waste of a key. Live and learn. Don't know if there's anything to learn, per se, other than maybe try pressing against every possible wall in the entire universe. All right, but we got the gold key back. I think gold keys do respawn, although I don't know exactly what the respawn policy is. Because it seems like after spending a few, I somewhat inevitably end up finding a few more. So the good news is, that makes me not at all afraid to spend keys at this point of the game. Alright, um... Don't think I ever found a way kind of up into there. Yeah, feeling a little bit lost again, so let me wander around. Well, here's a treasure box. That is nice. Uh, and I guess a save point that's... Let's go ahead and touch it. Ah, oh, Dungeon Below the Castle. I remember this person. Alright, I'm gonna do some just kind of walking back and forth, east and west, through the dense part of the forest, in hopes of seeing things that I haven't seen before, uh, and see what I can manage to pick up or find. I think I've seen this once before. Seek out the eye. It rests in the smuggler's road. But unfortunately, I don't think... Unless that green gem that I saw was the eye, I don't think I have any idea what the eye is. So I don't know how helpful that particular hint is. Trees have become less dense over here, but I'm still just trying to make sure I kind of travel east and west, painting out as much of the world as I can. So that I don't miss anything that's hidden away in the trees here. Hello! I have found a sword. We're up to level 71. That's pretty cool. And there's a stopwatch over here. I think I might know where I am again. Uh, and I think I probably need to do water walking in order to get there. Here are some easy bad guys. And I think I've been through here before. You've yet to find all the swords in this region, though. And where does this portal to Otherworld? This is a different portal to Otherworld than I've seen before. I currently have a shield. I don't have a gold sword. Are we going to see the butterflies again? There's more visibility here. There's a level 95 butterfly. Previously, oops. Well, I guess I previously when I saw one of them, they only went back and forth. This one might be chasing me, though. Yeah, that one's chasing me. All right. And I'm not sure if I can hear them coming. I'm willing to take a death or two to explore this area a little bit more. So let's see if we can find anything good. Ideally without waking the red butterflies who are chasing me. Music here is distinctive. Oh boy. Uh, let's make a run for it and try to outrun it a little bit. Nope. 
Okay. I'm gonna try once more. To see if I can get somewhere here in the other world. So you're just going north-south, so that tells me that there's gonna be a south end over here. Oh boy, there's the one who's chasing me. Here's one that's not chasing me. That I might be able to use as an obstacle somehow. Oh boy. A lot of trouble again. And I just don't have enough visibility to try to get out of here. Oh, what is this? That's a wall. I've seen this wall before. And I died in front of one of them before as well. Okay. So, we found an Otherward portal, and I probably want to make note of where this is. And so this is in the Tundra's Old Path. And I'm kind of in the upper left of the Tundra here, I think. How close am I am to the north edge, do I think? It's kind of along this north edge that's up against the water, it appears. Yeah, and this might be like the very north edge of the world up here. Okay, so upper left is possibly how I get there. So we're still continuing to find new things. Yeah, I wonder if that treasure chest respawned, because I feel like I've been up here. Well, okay, I said upper left, and now it's going even farther to the north than I thought it could go previously, so maybe we're not at the north edge of the tundra just yet. In which case, let's continue to explore together. I presume this is all just mountains. Alright, there was a way to go back to the north that I just skipped. Although it maybe just cycles around to here. Hmm. Now is this the true northern edge? And also, what did I just see over there? That, hmm. I'm also worried because there have been spots where you would step on a square and then immediately step off and all of a sudden be transported to a new location. <laughs> well, there's been at least one of those spots. And so I'm worried that it might be happening again. But perhaps not. Perhaps there really is nothing else out here. This seems a little too suspicious to me to just be devoid of anything, so I'm going to press against some walls and see if I can find something. Alright, we're in an area called the Labyrinth. I've definitely been in this area before. After exploring all the upper left, I was kind of forced to turn rightward. And then, yeah, it does go farther to the north over here. At least for a little bit. Yeah! We were here long ago if I remember correctly. Does it dead end? Actually, were we here somewhat recently? And then there's going to be a rock over here. Yeah, we were here somewhat recently. There's a save point, which I'll happily go ahead and take. And then... It doesn't seem like there's enough room. <laughs> To be exploring what I'm exploring right now because it feels like where I just was or just came from there wasn't this much space for this to exist. There's a P coin. Can I get to that P coin from over here? Please? I like P coins. I want to have them. The game says no. Not meant to be. At least not today. Probably have to walk across the water to get there. And also, this does appear to be the end of the line for this portion of the labyrinth. Alright, so let me try to retrace some steps. Okay, the Devil's Wall. I remember finding this exit at some point in the past. This brings me to Hallow Ground Look Away Shore. Hallow Ground. Was this also butterflies? I don't remember. Oh no, it's ghosts. Who were instant kills. And I don't even have a shield. And then there's some kind of... I don't even know how to describe that little spiral thing on the water. Okay, so Tundra Devil's Wall has that. 
Was there any other exit out of here, or do I just have to retrace my steps all the way back? It looks like I might have to retrace my steps all the way back, because it doesn't seem like I'm at all ready to go there. I wonder if there'll be other fast travel systems at some point. Well, I say other, like there's already a few, uh, with the main sanctuary place and all the roads that I'm uncovering and the portals and things, so... Yeah, there could still be more types of fast travel, who knows. In any case, I'm going to retrace some steps and try to find somewhere new. Okay, that actually was not very far from the portal to the tundra. Uh, this is near the top, and so from here, if I go up and left, I can get back to the Devil's Road and that hallow place. So that's good. Where have I not been to recently? I was in Monwall and got kind of distracted somewhat quickly, so let's go back to Monwall again. And try going in kind of a different direction than we did last time. Let's see. The other world contains a very special portal. I've been to the other world a couple different ways. Don't know that I found the portal. While traveling with the compass, you will find new routes. I have a compass. It's just been pointing... Oh, there's another portal point. Nice. It's just been pointing me to... Um... I'm going to go ahead and spend that. Kill the level 70 cat. Hooray. <laughs> and again. It's just been pointing me at save points. Yeah, so it's pointing down to the save point right now. So I'll go ahead and take advantage of that. But I suppose using the compass to aim toward those safe points could be good. I think the last time I was here, I was not level 70, and so the cats were a big threat to me. I think I had to go running in here, which is what? Letter short. Oh, there's a... All right, great. Picked up a shield right there. So now that I am immune to the cats, let's try doing some more exploration along the top of this place, because I don't think we've done that before. And I have found a coin. Nice. All right. It does appear to be all that's right there. Oh, and a gold sword. Neat. Okay, so at the top of the Verdant Coast, there's a gold sword along the top, and the exit to the Leather Shore has a shield. So if I want to pick up both of those power-ups, they are not hard to come by at the north end of this zone. And there's another portal coin. Fantastic. Okay, so this definitely feels like a place I have not been that may still have a lot of loot for me to pick up relatively easily. So I'm going to start by tracing the boundary of this area if I can. Oh, we've seen this before, though. That's another portal to the other world, because I think so far all of them have been green. I might be wrong about that, that kind of green-yellow color. So what I want to do is I want to get back to the north boundary and then go like south a couple screens and try to go back across. Is this by any chance the, this is not the, um, the secret shrine place that we saw before. This is something else. I will take the timer. I have like all the power-ups. Oh no, I already used my gold sword. I forgot about it. <laughs> While traveling with the compass, you'll find new routes. See, you say that. And yet I just got myself lost. Okay, so that was the building I went through. I spent a couple of keys to get through there. Uh, so that implies... Oh! That implies that I'm still lost. Ah, oh, there is a little path through there. Okay. So I have my shield currently. I do not have my gold sword currently. And so... Let's just try to learn this route. Although the cats are going to be coming at me, and so they're going to kind of force me to spend my gold sword, even when I don't want to. But there is the gold sword, so I am able to find it again. Which is kind of nice. So, if we can avoid the cats and other guys... What else have I yet to explore down here? I think I crossed a long bridge in order to get here in the first place. Uh, remind me what you tell me. I've yet to find all the swords. All right. So I definitely want to find more of those. And I'm willing to spend keys. 
Search, al search the cliffs along the coastal road. Follow the path astray. Cliffs, coastal road. All right. I'll try to do that. There goes my gold sword. Oh, well. So, coastal road. I haven't found all the treasure boxes yet. Is this the coastal road? I don't think so. Welcome to Monwall. There's so much to see and do. Yeah, this is the giant pathway I originally took, so I'm not sure that I've spent much time down in this portion of the area yet. Should head back to the castle now. Okay, I talked to you just recently. Have the boulders blocking the way been cleared? Yes, because I got the hammer. So hooray for me. I don't know that I'd ever talked to that person before, so that's promising. So we'll walk around the outside of their building, I suppose. All right, that just kind of goes through. Kill a few bad guys, why not? Do I know that they're bad guys? They're trying to attack me, but do I know that they've done anything bad? Are they working for the evil witch who's kidnapped the princess and her bunny rabbit or something? <laughs> I really don't know. Oh, uh, 50 and 65. I'll just go ahead and kill these guys, sure. So we're in the Verdant Foothills once again. Here's Cherry Valley, so we're in the region where I picked up the hammer in the first place. Yeah, and this is the region where I ended up taking some deaths when I was trying to escape at one point, maybe. There's a checkpoint here, which I'm going to go ahead and take. So... Yeah, I remember coming through here, I think. But I might have been running from enemies and not skirting all of the edges. So there might yet be things to find. Well, there's another save point. I think we're near the green save point, actually, over here. And it said, yeah, search the coastal something something something. This feels like a coastal something something. Yeah, I've definitely been here. This is the save point, so let's go... No, save point's just to the south of here? Yeah, here. That's the save point I was remembering. Uh, coastal path, follow it astray or something? That might be the uh, another clue that led me to the secret shop where I bought the extra save things and that also sells the carrots. And what was the third thing that it sells? Some kind of mirror? But it sells them for like 70 and 150 P coins or some kind of ridiculous price like that. But yeah, this seems to be the coastal path. And so since we're talking about it, and since we recently had an NPC who talked about it, let's follow it where it goes astray, which is going to be right up here somewhere. If I'm remembering correctly. Here's another save point. I'll take it. I wonder what the princess is like. There's a shield if I needed one, but I've already got one. Trees are beautiful this time of year. They sure are. Here's where the coastal path goes astray. And so here is the record scratch that brought us to the secret shop. In this crazy Nod Labyrinth Labyrinth. Illusory Maze. Was that the name of the place that a person said they lost their fishing pole? I don't remember for sure now, but the shop is over here. Yeah, there's a mirror, find the coins across the world, and the carrot. And the carrot we know can lure the princess's bunny rabbit. Or at least so we have heard. So yeah, illusory maze. Is there any chance that I have missed like a fishing pole or something crazy in this area? I guess I'll walk carefully through it every couple of squares just to make sure I didn't miss seeing something. No signs of shenanigans here. And unless I gain the ability to walk across the water, I don't know that we're going to find anything else. All right, so eventually we'll have to return to the shop when we have a bunch more pea coins, I expect. But for right now, I think we've exhausted what we can do there. So let's get the record scratch back over here. And then here in the Verdant Foothills, oh boy. I don't know that there's necessarily any business for me anywhere around here. So yeah, once again, let me do some wandering. 
Well, I managed to find another secret entrance with a pea coin. So that's something at least. Any other secret exits out here? Doesn't appear to be the case. Right, and the enemies can't follow me through the secret mountain pass, so far as I can tell. And we've definitely been here before. Not catching many fish this year, right. Because someone lost their fishing pole in the haunted maze or something. There's a sword here! This has got to be like a respawning sword or something, right? I wonder if there's a way to test that. Like, I feel like I've definitely been in this area before. Well, maybe not. Like, is this supposed to be like shallow water that I'm... Oh, there's a pea coin. Uh, shallow water that I'm walking across in this area? Like the blue in between the trees? I'm uncertain. Oh, and there's another pea. Okay, there's like a whole zone here that I've... And look at this. Okay. Um, found the zone of good loots. Show me more good loots, crazy zone. All right, so we're kind of walking around the edge of it here. Uh, just remind me where this is going to bring me. Mundaman Mountain. Okay, so I was just recently here. That's fine. I'm going to take another quick peek. Okay, South Mundaman wa Waterways. Great. And so if I take a few steps to the left and walk to the south, are there any other surprises that I'm going to find in some of the dense woods? So far, no. Other than a boatload of slimes, which is not really a surprise in this area. But we'll do a little bit more. Ah, eh, there's a... Have I been up here? I probably would have been because I tend to trace out edges of places more than I go through the middle. Yeah, this seems familiar. So rather than go through there, let's instead... Just try to walk through some of the dense trees over here. Okay, it appears that I probably had been there. So what about here? Or here? Have I been through all of this? Yeah, perhaps. Alright. Well, we picked up a few more treasures there. That might be all that there is for now. And so this is just called Cherry Valley. Perhaps these are shallow waters that I'm supposed to be walking across. They're very slow to walk across. And... Yeah, it does seem like the valley kind of like has some easy boundaries here. And so then if I take the waterway back... The waterway all looks so similar to me that I still never know kind of where I am inside of it. And I don't have the mental model of all of the connections through this zone. This is a notable boundary, though, so I've been here in this episode, I think, near the beginning already. Uh, does that help me find any portals back to the sanctuary or anything? I don't know that it does. Uh, that looks like a portal to the other world that we did enter from a different thing. Inactivated portals can be added. Yeah, if you have portal stones. Yep, yep, yep. And so let's just see if I can remember... This is not Otherworld. No, it is Otherworld, okay. And the butterflies will kill me unless I get up to level 95 at some point. So at least I remember when I see that how to get back there. It's easy to get lost in these caves, yes. You've said that many times and you've always been right. And then the lava pools here. Is there a portal in this zone? I don't know that there is. Well, I guess I don't have to go back to the sanctuary. I could save the game right here. So maybe this is a good place to call it an episode. Ah, my goodness. Did we accomplish things today? I'll have to go and review. I think I learned a couple more pieces of lore, uh, but we didn't really pick up anything that was all that amazing. So yeah, I might do some more heavy editing in future episodes if I struggle to make what seems like concrete progress. In any case, I hope as always you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Hero Spirit. For now, bye-bye.